squatting good morning hope you're having a lovely day so far whatever you've been up to whether it's morning or night i have just started my day by watering the new plants we have in the garden we spent the last weekend planting the garden and it looks so cute and pretty already it makes such a difference having flowers there i never thought i'd be excited about flowers but i guess this is adulting <laughs> gus helped me he's just had his little morning snack of a few dreamies and we're gonna go upstairs and do some work. So, yeah, let's go. Are you coming? Gus, 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 come on then. This way, Gus will. Come on then. Here he is. <laughs> so, Gus is actually feeling quite sorry for himself today because uh, yesterday as we were doing the plants, something spooked him in the garden. I don't know what it was. And he ran head first, head first into the patio door, didn't you? So he's got a little bit of a bust lip. I don't know if you can see. Can you see his lip? You head butted the door, didn't you? <laughs> Brief interlude to talk about this week's sponsor. Now this one is something I am very excited to share with you. And it is Kittle. Kittle is an online web app built to make complex design easier and empower you to create like a pro. So whether you're just starting out in design and you want to make something impressive or you're an expert and you want your life to be made that bit easier, Kittle has you covered. It works right in your browser, it's complete with fonts, illustration libraries and it's got pre-made templates and so much more without the need for you buying expensive software. And sometimes, quite frankly, you just want something easy and effective to get the job done. I actually created some invites on there because it is soon to be my grandma's 80th birthday. I'm sure she'll probably kill me for telling you that. But on there, I found this gorgeous floral themed template and it was so easy to tweak. So I just put all my information in there and you can see that you can add textures, you can include illustrations, you can obviously change the font, you can warp the font. There are endless options and something that I especially love is that you can save it in different formats. So there's PNG and JPEG, of course, and then also PDS and SVG, which is really, really helpful if you're planning to print things which is obviously what I'm gonna do. Now I actually have a link for you in my description which will give you three months completely free of Kittle so you can try it out for yourself and see how brilliant it really is. You can sign up without using a credit card and try it out for yourself. So whether you're a professional designer, a hobbyist, or you just like playing around with creative things, Kittle is made for you. You don't need any professional experience to create stunning designs quickly. Thank you very much, Kittle, for sponsoring this vlog. And like I said, don't forget to check out that free month free. Really, there is no excuse but to click it, you know? We all love a freebie, right? First task of the day for me is I'm gonna watch the video that my video editor has done. Uh, you'll have already seen that by now. It's the popular logo redesign video, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already watched it, it's the last one on my channel. I'm watching that through and hopefully it's okay because that is getting uploaded tomorrow. And then we're gonna have a play around and rejig this shelf behind me. I want to put some of like my art and design books on there because obviously I don't have stock anymore or I don't have much stock we'll get to that shortly so we're gonna play around with that but first let's check this video i always love the ambient noise of a power tool in the morning i think i've left my phone in the garden no i haven't here it is this is my case by the way i don't think i've ever shown this i bought it on case to find oh hey there's me and i just like the colors i feel like it's a very me me kind of case these cases are pretty expensive but they're definitely protective which i guess is the whole point this is the moment where I have to watch my own face for 28 minutes this video is 
one of the things I'm really grateful about having an editor is because I used to have to watch my own face for like six plus hours whilst editing these kind of videos so to me it's a great investment because I just ended up hating my own face which isn't healthy <laughs> so yeah that's one of the many reasons I hired an editor All right, I've watched the video and there was literally like two minor changes. So shout out to my editor for being the best. And I am gonna now put these books somewhere. So I actually went into Waterstones the other day because I just had an urge to buy some books and I got these two. I've seen this one on Amazon before. But I feel like this is quite a good basis for me as like a teacher. I don't class myself as a teacher, but you know what I mean? So I like, like how this is laid out it reminds me of school workbooks i should probably be like ptsd from that but you know and then this one just looks really cool uh, and actually i had a little read of this whilst i was in waterstones and it's really interesting it's been printed on like really chunky card and i just i just really appreciated this one so i got that too uh and i also have a very large collection of books downstairs behind this very heavy sofa. We have cupboards and in these cupboards are all the books that aren't quite as cute to get on the shelves. Now I have like these are all my boyfriends like there's some cookbooks but I do have some art books so I want to take these upstairs like books of mine that I don't really want down here but you know they're quite cute. Like this one from Emily Cox said, super cute. If you follow Emily, she's now pregnant, which makes me very happy. Very excited for them both. But yeah, I'm gonna grab all of my design books. Maybe I don't have as many as I thought actually, because this is not even my full pile. I don't know. We're gonna grab them and we're gonna take them upstairs. quite the pile going on. I thought I'd just quickly show you some of my favourites. These three I absolutely love. Apologies for the builders being loud. These are all by Austin Cleon and it's like a trio, you read them in order. I love these. These just quick reads, burst of motivation, 10 out of 10. Some of these I've literally not even looked at. This one by Chessie King I read like a couple years ago maybe. Really, really motivational happy vibes i love following her on instagram i've not actually used this one yet but i saw this in a little independent bookshop at the in the lake district and it's like sketching prompts so you like turn the pages and the book is like split into three different sections you see and you like it tells you like what material clothes you're wearing today the medium of your choice in those two colors and i just thought it was quite cool it stops you from procrastinating drawing you know which I continue to do and I forgot I had that because it's been in the cupboard this I'm currently listening to the audiobook of have a hunch this is my boyfriend's gonna pinch it anyway uh really enjoyed this as well got this for Christmas again super motivational quick read just what you want Grace Beverly's book as you can tell I really appreciated this I put lots of sticky notes in there I definitely want to read that again I have two Adobe Illustrator guides. This is from when I made my Adobe Illustrator course because I wanted some kind of 
proper point of reference so I use these two to sort of help me formulate the course if you didn't know I have a course about Adobe Illustrator that you can sign up to online follow along you get a certificate all that but I helped these helped me a lot getting the getting that course out um, it gave me a little bit of structure so love those I always buy children's books because one day I want to illustrate a children's book so I buy them when I think they're cute got calligraphy books creative thinking handbook your step-by-step -step guide to problem solving in business another one of those books I've bought and thought that'll be good and I've not yet touched this so I'm glad I've rediscovered it I've got a couple of gouache books so I wanted to get into gouache and I'm still keen to do that this one by Jessica Smith is my favorite I follow her on Instagram now and I've got a couple of her prints and stuff and her work is incredible that noise is so annoying and then there's also this one by Emma Block, which I've not yet really looked at. But again, super cute. We've got a book on macrame because I had a phase. I am that kind of person that has a lot of hobbies because I like hobbies. So I end up collecting things. Um, another gouache one. Oh my God, throwback. Have I ever looked through this book? Probably not. Oh my God, I have those trousers. What the heck? <laughs> Primark bargain. Then this one I can't draw. This book will prove you can. This was another one that I saw in the Lake District in that shop. And again, it's like it's like one of those destroy this journal things. Um, and you draw. It gives you prompts and you draw in it. I have done a couple of pages in here, but I don't know. I don't know where they are. But yeah, I feel like this is just nice to like loosen you up. Another reason I want them up here. <laughs> This one was something I saw in the works and I just had to get it. Can I knit? No, I cannot. But am I going to buy a Harry Potter knitting book? Yes, I am. It looks incredible. One day, one day I'm going to knit myself a nice like Gryffindor scarf. I mean, look at that. It's a bit complex <coughs> considering I can't even do it yet, but I just couldn't not get it. And then I have, these aren't even creative books, but these are just mine and then they're, they're like never out so I want these to be on display so book of maps Disney I got this like five Christmases ago and it's literally the cutest little book of various maps from films and stuff it like talks you through it and it describes like characters it's just super cute you know if you're a Disney fan you know one of those things I saw on Amazon and I added to my Christmas list and then this one the Disney book, A Celebration of Walt Disney, again had this for many years and in here it just sort of talks through the stories and how it came about. Lots of beautiful pictures and screen grabs from the animations. Just another one of those Disney fanatic books, you know. So yeah, that's sort of like the main bulk of the ones I love. I've got this, You Are an Artist. See, these are things that I've been bought or I've bought myself and because they're hidden, I haven't been doing anything with them. So I'm hoping by moving them into my office, when I'm like lacking inspiration or whatever, or I need some downtime, something that doesn't involve staring at my screen, I can grab one of these and hopefully feel inspired. So I am gonna attempt to move things off of that shelf to make some room. And then we're gonna turn this shelf behind me into like a bookshelf. A very sparse bookshelf, but a bookshelf nonetheless. I'm thinking I'm going to move these over to what was my stock shelf and then possibly change the height of the shelves. <gasps> I think my gusto's here. Best part of the week. realized I mentioned briefly about my products and the remaining stock and actually a lovely lady called Jenny has purchased some of my surplus stock and she's stocking it on her website which is so exciting let me just get the name of her website so her small business is called Olive and Mabel and she stocks the cutest things she contacted me and she's bought out a selection of what I have remaining so if you have been waiting for some Soul and Fire products and you didn't get the chance to get them head over to her website she's now stocking some bits and I'm actually gonna pack that order now because I've just realized I might as well pack that whilst it's looking 
like this because obviously all the products are out here from me counting them so I'm gonna grab the product she's ordered pack those and then we'll do the shelves that's what I'm telling myself anyway or I'm procrastinating doing the shelves that's probably probably more accurate let's be real so oh my god I can't deal with this drilling why is everyone so loud Gus hey shush we need five coloring books one two three four five five note to self memo pads five get shit done daily planners and then five regular daily planners so now i need to find a box that will fit these in because if you watch my um packing videos you'll know that i was running out of packing stuff obviously i've run out now so this shelf is pretty empty i do have these which are from the ikea these green things i've literally just moved over and this is what they came in and i knew there was a reason i saved them so i can make these up however the coloring books won't fit in here because they're too big so we'll figure that out well i didn't think i'd be packing packing products up anytime soon on here <laughs> it does creep in all right he's feeling sorry for himself about his face aren't you i will wrap these up neatly obviously but i think this could work nice i have to do it in two parcels but the daily planners are in there maybe we can get some of these in oh that's annoying i've just got one that doesn't fit <laughs> This one is literally going to have to go with the colouring box. How annoying. Get some tissue paper. Add some paper noodles so they don't slide around too much. Cute. Write a little note. Note in. And then I need to weigh this. And then I guess I'm going to have to ship the colouring bo box in either one of these or one of these and then I'll pack it with loads of cardboard. If we sandwich the box in between along with the rope planner like that, I'll tape it down and that should make it there in one piece. <laughs> Jenny, if you're watching this, and I obviously will message her this, apologies for the poor packing materials i just it's wasteful if i try and buy some more now because obviously i'm not going to get any use out of them so as long as the products are safe on their way i think that that's okay you're helping always got to see what's going on then if we put this in this bag oh no don't say it's not gonna fit please fit pretty good and it's all recyclable i'm impressed with myself seal that up grab some label paper there we go and we can then buy the postage from royal mail There we go, all sorted. Don't forget to check out Jenny's website, Olive and Mabel, and you could be grabbing one of these.
for now. So this is what it's looking like. I actually really like it. I've ended up just keeping out that final shelf, so I'll just put this in the shed. Uh, but I think it looks okay. I thought I had more books than I do, so I think I've unintentionally given myself the excuse to buy more, but I quite like that. Now I need to tackle this shelf. This is where the stock used to live. Obviously there's some of it on here, as you saw earlier, but I want to move all the shelves up, put all these rattan style boxes at the bottom, just to sort of make it more organized. I don't know. <sighs> all I know is it's gonna take a while, so let's go. Why have I not tidied this up? <laughs> I think I've cracked it. So, it feels really cosy actually, I quite like it. So obviously the left hand side's got the books on it, little bookshelf, book corner. I've turned the chair a little bit so it's not like straight on, it's at a tiny bit of an angle. Because obviously now I don't need to get into the packaging stuff as often <laughs> or ever. Which means I can get away with covering it up a little bit. I've sorted all those out, cleared the desk, um, that's just there for now, my makeup's in one of these in the other room. And yeah, I've moved all these over, I also realised that the daily planners fit in here, so I've just sort of used them for that as for now, so I think that kind of works. And then this is all I have left, so these little four shelves, and they're not even full. That's all the stock I own, which is still very sad and very weird, but that's what it is and then at the bottom we have all those empty trays I don't know what I'm going to do with them for now they're just there they're not hurting anything and obviously my paper like before I've now been left with these storage things and I think I'm actually going to repurpose them and use them downstairs in the kitchen because we love a bit of organization in this house so yeah I'm going to just put these in the kitchen at some point but for now I'm just going to stack them up put them to one side because I cannot face organising anything else today oh, so that's it that's today's video it is now I don't even know what time it is I think it's probably about half five I am going to I was going to say I was going to sit and watch some Bridgerton but I might pick up one of these books and read for half an hour I feel like I should take half an hour like every work day to read especially when it's like a creative book considering my job is creativity anyway yeah that's it for today's vlog don't forget to check out kittle and click that link in my description for the three months free and thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time for another one bye